Yeah. But Todd Fernando. Hello. Good uh, afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, whereabouts are we today? Well, we are on the surroundings of the Villa Facaya, village Villa Facaya. Yep. Uh, we are walking distance from there. <clears throat> Uh, five minutes walking more or less that we can find some amenities as a mini market bakery uh, coffee shop uh, we are in a place um, as you see uh, very quiet very peaceful more on the nature there's a road over there but it's a road that do not have too much traffic mm -hmm. um, so this is quiet the sun uh, it's perfect. And to access this? To access by this forest track um, along 150 meters more or less on a forest track. There's a nice parking area here at the front. Easy access, any kind of car can access here. Okay. Um, um, this property is a bit different of the other ones that we normally visited because this is a property more of grid in some points. There's mains water over there. Yep. Uh, there's a meter. If people want to use the water, means water, it's possible, it's there. But the actuality owners, they don't use too much. They mainly use the water from the well. They have a water well down there that we will see. Yep. And they also <clears throat> mainly keep the water from the rain for, um, for um, deposits, you mm -hmm. know, for the cisterns. And they use also that water with filters. Then I will show you okay. inside. No connection to Village City. Mm -hmm. There's a solar panels on the roof of the house. Yep. Um, that's it. As I told you, off grid. It's a, it is off grid living. Yeah. Um, how close uh, is electricity to here? If somebody wanted to hook up, it's two or three hundred meters from here. Okay. It's possible to connect. Of course, it's necessary to pay that mm -hmm. connection. Um, yeah, but possible to live here without the connection using the solar panels. So um, the, the people that live here now, they use solar panels uh, for all their electricity consumption. Yes. Um, they have a composting toilet yeah. and separate bathroom um, for, uh, for their bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, and they heat the property with a wood burner. Yeah. Okay, so it's, I mean, it's literally, it's, it's off-grid living. Yeah. And and Internet, sorry, to disturb, they also <coughs> work and they use a mobile internet connection that is also good. Yeah, I've checked, it's a good 4G connection yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, and how much is this property? 55. 55,000, yes. okay, should we go and have a look? Yes. Okay. So, Casa Samambaya, that's the name. Do, do you know what that means? Mm, no? Not exactly. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I will church. Okay. <laughs> Um, so they've planted lots of fruit trees here. Yeah. Fruit um, trees, they had planted. There are the new ones growing. There's a citrus tree there. Yeah. There's much more than on the bottom terrace down there. Yeah, they, that's here. They sort of have an orchard down in, in yep. the bottom, don't yep. they? You'll see. Olive trees here. Um, fig tree there. Yeah. And down there, there's peach and plums and oranges, lemons. There's more, 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 more trees there. Down okay. there, you will see. Um, should we start in the house? Yeah, let's, <coughs> let's. That's a good place to start, and then we'll kind of work our way through the land. The house was all fully uh, renovated. There's a, a new roof uh, with insulation, and these um, kind of uh, roof uh, fireproof um, tiles. Okay. With insulation. Yeah. There's also the solar panels up there. Then we'll show to you. There's this nice sitting front area. It's lovely, isn't it? It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Stay here, sit here. Yeah, get out the sun. Just enjoying. It's it's nice. This is a stone walls. Um, come in, please. Okay. So on one side we have the kitchen. The kitchen here. Uh, now this is uh, the water, the lady was telling me this is the water filter system that they use for water consumption. Right. Uh, and then they've obviously got a sink for, mm -hmm. for washing. I'm going to show you, here is where are the batteries of the solar panels. Yeah. 
the converter and the batteries are here. Yeah, and uh, that runs a fridge. Yeah, for the summertime, it's helpful. Then the rest in the cooker with gas, this one, and there's a, another this, one there. Um, this is lovely, this uh, yeah. breakfast bar area here. Yeah, a lot uh, of character here. Yeah, and then the solar panels are on the flat roof mm -hmm. here, yes. above. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, and then this is the living area. And the lady was saying that they use this wood burner in the winter to cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to heat um, and to cook. cook. Yeah, <coughs> so it's got an oven and then they can use the top as a sort of hot plate. Uh, and then obviously a fire for, for warmth. Yeah. And then this is the outlook onto a sort of freshly, this is the orchard area uh, here yeah. with all the fruit trees, mm -hmm. uh, a desk area and then they've got storage underneath here. And the bedroom area, area. And then the bedroom mezzanine. Area there. I'll just Awesome. Nice slate stone floor. Okay, where are we going to go next, Fernando? Maybe we're <coughs> going to see here on the other side. Down here we have the toilet. It's a compost toilet. So this is the bathroom area, um, composting toilet, look at this, it's a nice details isn't it? Uh huh, it's awesome, I love it, okay, let's not waste too much water, and then currently they have um, a sort of tub area where they wash, um, but she was saying it would be quite easy to get the mains water down to here and then yep. get a gas um, bottled water heater and then hook up a shower. Um, now the composting toilet, she was explaining to me that it's changed every year and then it takes two years for it to be used as human manure on the land. So uh, there's a two-stage composting system here and then obviously you know every two years that yep. that's ready to use yep. Yep. okay now this isn't the boundary this is just no. the uh, doggy fence yes here. the boundary is down there yep. the big wall before the road um we've been here for quite a while and there's been no cars going no by. well Times to times pass a car, but it's uh, quite a road. Uh huh. Uh, and that's um, a PP, PP area. PP area because you don't want to put too much liquid yeah. in the human manure. Yeah. Um, Solar panel, we can see a bit from ah, here. Ah, okay, yeah. See they are up there. Yeah. Right, should we go down and see the well? Yeah. The boundary here, there's a a stone wall, a old stone wall here. Yeah. And the boundary is here. They clean a bit more the land in order to be protected of any first fire. Yeah. The boundary is here and then it goes to the well area. Okay. We'll show to you. As this middle terrace for farming, there's olive trees, some pines, oak trees. And down here, this larger terrace has more fruit trees, as I told you, peach and plums and oranges, lemons, olives, apples. Uh, and the lady was saying that this land is um, it's really fertile, but it doesn't flood. No. 
um, whereas the land on the other side of the road does flood. Yep. Uh, and then you've got some, there's the composting area, mm -hmm. and then you've got two storage areas here for, for lenya, for firewood, uh, and gardening equipment. The wet water well, or the one, Stone have well. water permanently, winter, summer, all time with water, not dry. Um, now she was saying that in winter uh, it's full to the brim yeah. and then you could take that off and mm -hmm. store it in IBCs if you wanted to and then it fills back up sure. again. So. Yeah. Um, and then they very cleverly, on the cisterna, yep. they painted it and they used that as a, just a plunge pool in the summertime when it gets nice and warm. That's kind of a reservoir. Um, many years ago people used a, a mule or a donkey to walk around to use this um, structure, metallic structure, to get the water from the well. It was a chain with pots that goes down and Scoops then, up the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then drops to this tank. Okay. And they fill the tank and then they irrigate by gravity the land over there. Okay. Actuality with electric pumps, maybe we don't need these these tanks, but it's a good solution for a, a, a summer a, pool. A plunge pool, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And um and now the dunk the donkey's unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> retired. Yes, retired. Ah, now she was saying that the the boundary yeah. doesn't stop here. No, it's more a it, bit of that woodland also belongs to, to the property, okay. till the road. And then just a quiet area here for decking, contemplation, meditation. Mm -hmm. Also. Or to escape the wife. Also. <laughs> <laughs> There's a point here that is part of the water well. Many years ago, this was used to put uh, petrol engines or uh, gasoline engines mm -hmm. that pump the water after that system with the donkey. Uh, and they use these kind of uh, caves to, to put that engines because they should be near the level of the water. Okay. But it's a very good uh, uh, fresh point. Mm -hmm. um, also, it's perfect to keep things like it works as a, a, a freezer uh, naturally, mm -hmm. understand? So yeah, th th she was saying that when they were camping here, yeah. before they finished the restoration they work, that, they used that for they two years as their fridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just quickly show that. Okay. Maybe we walk through there to see that part of the land. There's a tool storage or wood storage yep. area. For someone that wants to live in the nature, this is not a big land, but mm -hmm. this 2,300 square meters. It's, it's, is, a, it's enough to grow vegetables. It's more than enough. Fruit trees. And uh, do not give too much work mm -hmm. about maintenance and, and or costs. And that, yes. It's quite easy. Let's <coughs> jump here the doggy fence. So here they have the veggie borders ready to go mm -hmm. in the summer. To grow vegetables or to grow some other things. Mm -hmm. That's good good point. And up there there are there is the the tent. Come to have a look inside. It's <coughs> beautiful. So this is currently, um, they use it just as a guest area mm -hmm. if friends come to stay. Yeah. 
um, and also just a relaxation place. Yeah. And for yoga. <laughs> yeah. Now, what would you call this in, Portu in Portugal? Cachimbo. A cachimbo. Cachimbo. <laughs> um, in English, it's a hooker pipe or right. a hubbly right. bubbly. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, and then there's a meditation area up yeah, here. Yeah, behind. Yep. yep. Oh, fire pit. Yep. With a nice wooden bar. Ah, there's a bar here. <laughs> and then a fire pit here for in the evenings. Yes. Um, what's this little storage shed here? Yes, tools for tools and mainly garden tools and With and uh, it's just storage area. Yeah, extra gas bottles and okay. that kind of things. Uh, and then just a little meditation area yoga and point. yoga area over here. Well, in the 16 minutes, 17 minutes we've been filming, one car's gone by. Yeah, one or two so, at best. Yeah. Amazing. Should we get the drone up and have a look from mm -hmm. up above? Let me just say before I finish yep. that the house is registered. Okay, yes. We have a footprint of 36 square meters. Yep. The mezzanine area is also measured, so in total there's around 50 square meters. Okay. Um, and this registered <clears throat> as an habitation, it's possible to keep and uh, live here permanently. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just over 2,000 square meters of land. 2,300 something, yeah. Okay, and the footprint of the house is, sorry? 36. 36 square meters, so yeah. it's a, it's a yeah. small house, but um, for somebody that wants to live off-grid and perfect. Um, in a more kind to the environment way, then this is perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Let's um, get the drone up and have a look from up above. Let's go. Let's Thanks fly. For, let's fly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Fernando. Okay, take it too. <laughs>